Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making Neon Rave in Poison, and it sounds like this. If you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's dive into this patch and see how it was created. First thing, we're going to be using 16 for Unison and Polyphony 64, and that's because with all these voices and chords, we want to make sure that we have enough Polyphony to handle this type of sound. For the Unison detuning, it's about straight up and down, 49, 50% about that area. The Unison pan is 100%, and skipping all the way over to gain, we do have to bring this down about 10 dB or so because the more voices and the more chords and stuff that we add, it's going to add to the volume, so we do have to compensate for that. Moving on, the MIDI we can skip over, although on the LFO we're selecting frequency A and we're doing just a small change here at 11% over 1 over 16 and this is going to be re-triggered on a triangle shape. So let's solo just this patch here. We can comfortably skip over the envelope as we're not going to be using this here, but we are going to be using the amplifier envelope. And it's really only the release at 788 milliseconds just to kind of give it some breathing room at the end of the sound. Next up for the balance here, so we're going to be using one oscillator, technically two with a noise at 16%. So we can kind of skip over oscillator A and B because those default values are fine for this patch. Also skip over the filter, and as if you notice, this patch is very easy to make, but it does sound pretty cool and full. Arpeggiator, we're also skipping that as well, but the effects is kind of where it gets a little bit interesting. So on the delay section, we have this on with this little red light. The left is going to be 2 over 4, but the right is going to be 1 over 4. Feedback 50%, M-depth 30, low cut 0, high cut 74%, the wet 59. <laughs> You can kind of see how the delays kind of follow a little bit more on the left uh, on the left channel. And then moving on, we are we're using chorus as well, so that's on depth is going to be fifty percent, rate two point six hertz, and the wet is going to be at forty percent. And to get that sweet trancy gate, we're going to be using the trance gate here. So this wet's going to be 85%, the smoothing at zero, the tempo sync is one over 32, and you can really leave this default how it comes because it sounds good for this patch. So very simplistic to make, but it can come with a really good result. That's what's really cool about Poison is that it's almost minimal effort synthesis, but you kind of get a really good sound out of it. And all the knobs and buttons and sliders are almost, they all, they have a very good meaning to them that making sense in the way that every knob has a purpose and every purpose has its knob, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So let's look over to see what's happening on the channel strip. So on Poison here, I just really have an EQ cutting off some of that low end, maybe giving a little resonance bump right there, taking off some of the harshness at 3K and then bumping some air at 7.6K. <laughs> And this is also getting sent to an external reverb here for Valhalla Reverb, and that's really it. There's some other layers in here, some drums, some bass, and some nice little droning vocal. And that's pretty much how you make this patch. If you'd like to get it for free, there's a link in the video description below so you can use it if you would like. Let's play this out with Neon Rave. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.